Hey, this is Presh Talwalkar. This problem appeared in a UK maths competition. Simplify and give your answer as an integer for the following fraction. The numerator is the product of five terms. The first term is 10 factorial plus 9 factorial. The second term is 8 factorial plus 7 factorial. The third term is 6 factorial plus 5 factorial. The fourth term is 4 factorial plus 3 factorial. And the final term is 2 factorial plus 1 factorial. The denominator is the same terms except each pair is a subtraction. So it starts out with 10 factorial minus 9 factorial and it ends with 2 factorial minus 1 factorial. If you're up for a challenge, I thought it would be fun to extend this pattern all the way until the largest number is 100 factorial. Can you figure it out? Give these problems a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for the solution. For a positive number, n factorial is equal to the product of the whole numbers going from 1 to n. The factorial is a recursive function in the sense that the product of the numbers from 1 to n minus 1 is equal to n minus 1 factorial. So we can also write that n factorial is equal to n times n minus 1 factorial. This will be a useful form that we can use to simplify the problem. A general term in the numerator is n factorial plus n minus 1 factorial. We'll rewrite n factorial in terms of its recursive form. And now we have n minus 1 factorial being common to both terms. So we can factor out n minus 1 factorial to get that n factorial plus n minus 1 factorial is equal to n minus 1 factorial times the quantity n plus 1. A general term in the denominator is n factorial minus n minus 1 factorial. We can use the same approach and simplify this to the form where we have n minus 1 factorial times the quantity n minus 1. So let's use these formulas to simplify this fraction. We'll look at the first term in the numerator and the denominator. 10 factorial plus 9 factorial can be simplified using the formula for the sum, and 10 factorial minus 9 factorial can be simplified using the formula for the difference. The numerator becomes 9 factorial times 11, and the denominator becomes 9 factorial times 9. We can simplify the next term in this fraction similarly. We end up with the numerator being 7 factorial times 9 and the denominator being 7 factorial times 7. Let's use these formulas and simplify all the other terms in this fraction. We end up with a series of products of factorials and odd numbers. There's going to be a lot of cancellation going on, so let me just focus on the factorials so that we can make it very clear. In the numerator, I'll bring all the factorials to the left hand side. And the same thing I'll do in the denominator. Now you can very clearly see in our fraction that all of these factorials will cancel out. For the product of the odd numbers, we have almost all of them canceling out, except we have one odd number of 11 remaining in the numerator and the odd number of 1 remaining in the denominator. So this all simplifies to be exactly 11. Now for the challenge problem where you go up to 100 factorial, I'm not going to go through every single detail, but you can follow the same steps and use this approach of cancellation to get that the answer will be 100 plus 1, which is 101. Did you figure out these problems? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google+, and Patreon. You can catch me on social media at Press Hellwalker. And if you like this video, please check out my books. There are links in the video description.